All right, um, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to, now that we have the lubrication system all done, we've got the crankshaft and the pistons in, the valves in, we're gonna put the valve covers on. Uh, here's our valve gaskets right here. It matches up to the bottom of the covers. Now there are two different styles of covers um, for these engines. Uh, earlier engines, which would be the B43 as well as the early model P218s, the A and B specs. Um, We'll have the breather in the tap in the cover, the valve cover, the tappet cover, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then if it's not there, it will actually be in the top of the block. Uh, those are C-spec and later. So if, say if you have a, I think it's 1989 or newer 318, you probably have a breather in the block itself, not in the covers. And so you only need just two covers like this to, to do this. But in this case, we have to put the breather in. Um, so that's just an additional uh, step. But what we're going to do is we already have the gaskets lined up. Um, it's a pretty simple process. I'm going to put the covers on, get the bolt in, and line everything up. And then we have to torque these to that massive spec of 2.1 Newton meters. Um, my torque wrench doesn't even go that low. So we're just going to kind of tighten them down. And... Uh, be done with it um, they don't get very tight so there's that and then when it comes to doing the breather um, side what we're going to do is we need two valve covered gaskets in this case we need a gasket for the bottom underneath so we're just going to match this up like that and then we're going to put this in here like this because it lines up with the hole and then we're going to put our reed valve in and after our reed valve, we're going to put our washer. And then after the washer, we're going to put our spring. And then we're going to go ahead uh, right here. And we're going to go ahead and put our gasket on the top, just like this. So, and we'll go ahead and put um, our valve cover on. I'm going to go through the reed valve and everything. And then... I'm just going to go ahead and compress a little bit and it should be easy enough to find the hole uh, for this, the bolt to go in. If not, um, you, you do have the option of picking everything up and just peeking in there and uh, looking looking for the, the hole itself and then not to go in just like that. So um, we're going to tighten those down and then from there uh, we're going to put the timing main seal in the timing cover and then we're going to put the heads on. Um, and then probably call it a day.